Hi, Aunt Nancy. Today is May twenty eighth, twenty twenty two. How are you doing? In Buddhism, Ananda is the Buddha's well known disciple because he was the Buddha's close attendant for about twenty five years. The Buddha trusted him. Also, disciples like to talk to him first when they came to visit the Buddha. He would arrange a proper time for them to meet the Buddha. No matter how busy the Buddha was, he was always able to satisfy everyone so that everyone could return happily. One day, when preaching to King Pasinadi, the Buddha noticed that Ananda was sad. So the Buddha asked Ananda what was bothering him. Ananda told the Buddha that in his last night dream, there were seven. Strange things which seemed inauspicious. The Buddha asked Ananda which seven. Ananda told the Buddha the seven things in his dream. In the first thing, all the rivers, lakes, and the oceans were burning, flames soared into the sky. Hearing this, the Buddha's face changed. And then he commented, "This indicates that in the future, the monks in the sangha will be more evil than good. It's like pure water turning into flames. The monks will obtain excessive offerings, and they will fight each other. What about the second scene? In the second scene, the sun was disappearing." It's all dark in the Saha world. There was not even one star in the sky. The Buddha was almost eighty years old, and he explained, "The Buddha will enter Nirvana soon. So will the great disciples. This means that the eye of human beings and the heavenly beings will soon be gone. What about the third one?" In the third scene, the bhikkhus didn't wear cassocks, according to the Buddha's words. The monks fell into traps, and the lay people stepped on them. The Buddha said, "It implies that in the future, bhikkhus will hold dharma assembly, but they themselves will not follow the dharma." They will be jealous of each other, and they will not be afraid of cause and effect. Taking the opportunity, lay people will despise the sangha, slander monks, and destroy pagodas and monasteries. What about the fourth one? In the fourth scene, the bhikkhus were wearing incomplete robes. They were lingering in the thorn. The Buddha was obviously agitated a bit, and、uh, he said, "It implies that in the future, the bhikkhus will give up dharma robes, not wearing them. They will give up precepts, and they will raise wives. This will be the misfortune of Buddha Dharma." What about the fifth one? In the fifth one, in a dense forest. There were many boars digging the roots of a big sandalwood tree. The Buddha was sad and、uh, said, "It can be seen that in the future, the monks only care about living. They will sell the Buddha statues and scriptures." What about the sixth one? In the sixth one, the big elephant abandoned the small elephants. The lion, king of all animals, died. Flowers were sprinkled over its head. All the beasts were still terrified to stay close. Soon after, worms were born inside the lion's body, and they ate the lion's flesh. The Buddha shook his head and said, "In the future, the elder monks." Will be selfish, and they will not be willing to help the younger monks. What destroys the Buddha teaching? 
does not come from the outside, but from the inside, from the Buddha's disciples. What about the seventh one? In the seventh one, I had Mount Sumero over my head, but I didn't feel heavy. Hearing this, the Buddha was relieved a bit and said, Ananda, the Buddha will enter Nirvana soon. All the bhikkhus, all the people, and all the celestial beings will rely on you to teach, to instruct, to enlighten. And also, you will collect all the Buddha's teachings. All phenomena are impermanent. Everything has four stages. Becoming, leaving, going back, and disappearing. So do the Buddha's teachings. Ananda's dream indicates that uh, in the future, the Buddha's teaching will decline, especially the worms in the lion's body eating the lion's flesh predicted that the corruption of Buddha Dharma comes from inside. Amitabha, this is the Dharma chair. In fact, many of the scenes in Ananda's dream have become true. What should we do then? The Buddha told the disciples before he entered Nirvana that after he entered Nirvana, precepts will be our teacher. Thank you. I remember being here. I'll see you next time. Bye.